whereas this one uh, is kind of more in the typical and we'll see i think this one is actually in the in the leaderboard again so yeah this week. Yeah. but i think the botto is a project that tries to create an artificial artist with the help of ai artificial intelligence and blockchains and smart contracts Yeah, it's again like a naive art or so. So this is like kind of religious. I see it as a tree, but yeah, that's some of these things are also not really safe. That's how Botto creates its art. It creates a sentence, feeds that into a neural network and gets an image back. And that neural network has seen more art, more images than any single human being around. Okay. So every week the community votes on these fragments and at the end of each week one gets chosen to be art. And that will be auctioned off as an NFT on a platform called Super Rare, where some collectors can, can buy it. Okay. No. Hmm. So these are kind of like proto things where, ah, no. Okay, okay, it made wow. it. Yeah, I like this one. This is yeah. great. <laughs> ah, this is good. This uh, do more like the previous one, like more convoluted images. All the votes from the community go back to the artificial intelligence, which tries to develop a sense of taste. So it looks at the fragments it creates and then tries to determine, will my audience like this or will they hate it? And the more information it gets back from the community, the, the more secure, sure it will be in its judgment, what it should do and what it should not do. Really like, almost like a child. One of the most interesting parts of Voto is that the uh, community uh, is leading the project. Right now they are voting for uh, the image, the fragment that we are selecting for minting, but in the future they will govern all the project. They will be able to select if they would like to exhibit Voto's pieces in Sao Paulo's gallery, for example. I'm, I'm not quite sure who the users are. So at the moment, I would say half of them are actually interested in the financial aspects of Botto, and the other half is artists, collectors, and people who, who just find this interesting. Of course, the traditional auction houses have already noticed pretty much like uh, about since a year that there is a new market which is very successful where millions of dollars can be made. And yeah, they all already started their NFT collections. Actually, I, I sold uh, a piece um, a few months ago. So they are actively participating in the market because they see that this is contemporary. Go to the 
1.200 cubierto, la mesa, 1.100. 375 en la web. Lote 26, 2.700, 4.500. 40. 2.03, gracias. 35 ahora. 500. Yo creo que todo lo que es todo lo digital. Eh, y todo lo que, eh, lo que se refiere a, a este mundo eh, dentro de la, del blockchain y eso, pues ahora mismo eh, tiene muchísimo, muchísimo interés. Y dentro del mundo del arte, los propios artistas han tenido in, eh, interés en crear obras digitales y lógicamente el coleccionista está interesado y también yo creo que es importante los eh, coleccionistas que compran las primeras piezas que se están eh, eh, haciendo en, en, este, en este formato y con esta tecnología. Quiero la tecnología blockchain y yo soy de los que he venido al arte por la parte de blockchain. Si esta obra se hubiera vendido en analógico y por tanto me dieran un cuadro eh, y me llegan debajo del brazo, no estaría aquí. Y esto es algo que bueno, soy uno de los newcomers que harán que este arte pues, pues, bueno, pues valga mucho más en el futuro, absolutamente. Creators of NFTs typically they, they have uh, royalties from the artist from the art they generate. That's quite new because, for example, if you generate you create a uh, a painting and you sell it and 10 years after that is sold by 10x the original price you don't get anything with nfts you can do that because everything is done through smart contracts and every nft platform is paying from 5 to 10 percent to uh, the creator of every secondary sale 